you see here is an Indo-Afghan polwar or polowar. Polwar and polowar is a term which is mostly used in among uh, collectors in the West to refer to a type of uh, saber used mostly by Afghans and Afghan troops. Here you see that the handle is mostly a combination. Um, the cross guard, as you can see here, and in uh, two knobs, uh, similar to tarwar or talwar or tulwar, Indian tulwar or talwar, or tarwari, as it is said in Ayin Akbari. Then this is in the middle of the handle, this bulbous, and then the top of the pommel, you see that there is, uh, it's, in, it's mostly in the shape of an Afghan polwar, polwar. Um, I'm going to put a link in it where I handled it a couple of years ago when I was here, in, uh, so I had the chance to get hold of this collection in Iran. And there you see there are blast stones or some balls inside. So when you move the handle, when you move the sword to cut, it makes swords. So it makes certain sounds. The sword makes certain sounds. And uh, these um, there are blast stones normally blessed by an imam or some or religious figure. Um, the scabbard is um, made of wood and is covered by um, leather. It has only one scabbard fittings with one ring. Possibly it used to have two rings. So it could be hung from uh, the shoulder uh, via ball trick. Um, the cross guard, as I said, is not downward because normally Afghan polo wars have a don normally, normally downward quillions, quillions ending in dragon hats. But there, is, there are always exceptions, of course. Here you can see and you can take a look at the reverse side of the blade. The blade is made of uh, patterned crucible steel. Of course not of a, a darkish uh, uh, high quality Persian crucible steel but is more in line with um, Indian or uh, Afghan crucible steel. Is more whitish but the blade is an extreme cutter. It's very well, very well um, um, it's sharp and uh, it's very sharp and is very well tempered and hardened. Uh, the obverse side of the blade has also a, a cartouche, and the cartouche uh, says Al Sultan Nader, which is a, a, this, the ruler Nader, which is a reference, which is a reference to Nader Shah Afshar. Um, so Nader Shah Afshar also used to have some Afghans who helped him possibly this belonged to one of them. He also fought against the Afghans who sacked Isfahan and brought an end to the Safavid period and he conquered uh, them, of course. But he had also Afghan troops who helped him. Right? So possibly it was one of these auxiliary troops used this. Um, you can see in my book there are swords uh, with Al-Sultan Nader and or Rekabi Sultan Nader means um, that they served in the cavalry for Nader, but not this one. This one says also Sultan Nader, and this makes the sound as I mentioned it to you before. It's a very comfortable handle. It sits very well, and you can also make very good cuts with, with that. Here you see the handle of it, and then again here you see the cartouche.